So let's just know some things for ourselves right now. That you are a wonderful creative child of God and very loved. You have a guardian angel with you and you're not alone. Everybody is assigned a guardian from birth. Know that you are part of the Creator. You need to connect to Prime Creator, to God, your Father in Heaven. To open our mind to receive, we need to affirm often, God prospers me now. All that is mine by divine right comes to me under grace in perfect ways. And I am receiving now. I'm receiving all that I need. I'm receiving all that is mine by divine right. Avalanches of abundance descend upon me now. I open to receive easily and effortlessly. I now live and work in the ideal environment, great location earning good money with people that I love and that love me in an atmosphere of harmony and ease. It's light, bright and airy and has peace and serenity and nature where all feel welcome and supported. I work on meaningful, wonderful projects that use all my skills and abilities. They are successful and I complete them with ease and grace. I have wonderful, like-minded, supportive friendships. And I am in love with my beloved. I live in an atmosphere of harmony and ease. And all that I need flows to me effortlessly. I just have to open to receiving. I now receive all the money that I need under grace in perfect ways. I ask Father God to help me open to receive his abundance. And I give thanks and gratitude for all that I have received to date. Dear Father God, help me open to your love, to your health, your abundance. Help me raise my vibration so that I may live in another timeline that has freedom, bliss, joy, happiness and unconditional love. I ask for your support, your guidance. Please fortify me, strengthen me, and open me to the abundance by clearing all my past timelines of grief and betrayal and turning that into endurance and perseverance for joy to be for all. I experience joy and bliss now, knowing that I have cleared the path, that I am the change I seek, and all glory be to God, my Father, my Eternal Father in Heaven. I open to receiving His blessings and gifts of joy and abundance, knowing I am safe and comfortable with this. I now open my heart to love on a level I have never experienced before, knowing I am safe and comfortable with this. Nothing's too good to be true. Nothing's too wonderful to happen. And nothing is too amazing to last. Thank you, Father God, for strengthening me, fortifying me and for activating my light body so that I may ascend to the kingdom and bring light and unconditional love to help this process 
activate it within you now. Divine love is doing its perfect work in me and through me now. And God prospers me now. I love you, God. Help me open to receiving more of your love. Hi Gemini, let's tune into you, your vibration, unconditional love. You're here with Bella Katrina, the angels, your Lord and Saviour Jesus. And we have a message from heaven, something about love and talking to heaven, bringing your spiritual body to heaven in your dreams, maybe when you worship and pray, you actually go to heaven. Spiritually, you bring energy down, you get connected. Must be baptized in the Abrahamic covenant. It's a new covenant of Christ. It's coming in the last days as he pours his spirit out upon us. So welcome, Gemini. We're going to tune into the Lucy Cavendish cards. We're going to do a snapshot, see where you're at. We also have beautiful love, universal love. Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. We focus on love on this channel. We focus on the heart chakra. So welcome if you're new. I see all of your thoughts. Fancy saying that to a Gemini. So that's your Lord and Saviour. I think that's God talking to you as well. So keep your thoughts really positive. Also, it's how I started. It was like I could hear people's thoughts. So you're not actually hearing their thoughts. It bypasses that sense and goes to telepathy which you would be masters at if you could actually get out of the matrix and slow down really really slow down until get to zero and stay there that's where you need to be to plug into the galactic your galactic family there's a galactic cosmic galactic and universal gateways that we're plugging into through our 12 strand dna upgrade <laughs> all sounds very strange but i'm telling you with man, this is not possible, but with God, all things are possible. That's why it is galactic, cosmic, universal. It's, we're going cosmic, man, cosmic. And you are able to function multidimensionally, right? So this is happening through our awakening and through the great revelation. We're in it now. So you as a beam of light have come down here to bring light to planet earth because it's very dark and it's very very um toxic as you know so why you chose to be an air sign is because you're geniuses and you're actually being held back by a low vibration frequency so once you can connect like this to the galaxy to your lord and savior to source to gaia to your fifth dimensional crystal grid it's real. It happened to me. They plugged me in through my pituitary gland, the galactics. I've met them. This is all real, supernatural, right? So I've always been psychic and um, my primary clear is clear audience. So I always have had um, highly sensitive ears and I'm clear sentient. So I feel things deeply, but I use Reiki to actually cleanse my energy of the frequency modulation. It helped me unplug from the matrix. So I actually offer Reiki attunements and integration therapy so what i was going to do for your birthday gemini for your birthday look at the second card i am just a thought away meaning that we're connecting on a higher vibration in our thoughts if you're thinking of somebody they're thinking of you right so this is like you have to sit in receptive mode to receive you're like a receiver a transmitter and they're showing me it's your spine that is the antenna that needs to plug in. You need to sit into the earth, plug into the earth, sit on the earth, lay down on Gaia. I call it Gaia. The beach, the sand, the grass, right? Go into nature and let your mind not just slow down. It needs to go still, completely still, so you can actually get out of the matrix and plug into your um, upgrade. Your DNA is expanding. So if you don't, you will feel sick. You will feel like you're going crazy. I hate to say that, right? But it's going to get worse if you don't learn these techniques. So anybody wants to learn Reiki and is interested in doing my self-empowerment program, the first introduction level is Reiki level one and a magic healing package. So Reiki level one empowerment here is an activation here. 
It reduces stress, strengthens boundaries, activates self-healing and stops others from draining you. The magic healing package that goes with it is Chakra Clearing, Aura Cleanse, Reiki Recharge, Reiki Power Boost to bring life force or intelligent energy into your body. So we have a workshop online and an activation with me live on Skype for two hours just with me. I love doing this work. And then the magic healing package is one session a week with me to integrate that activation for four weeks because magic happens in four weeks. Now that's the first half of my Reiki self-empowerment program. But for your birthday, if you are already wanting to do it, Reiki level one here and the magic healing package together, when you book these four sessions, you pay for three and you get one free. Right, so that's already a bonus. So if you put those two together, get the activation and then the four sessions, I'm going to give you for free for your birthday, Soulmate Reiki. It's also an empowerment, a workshop, and um, these are activations are very, very powerful. And they help you naturally break free from past programming and get you out of the matrix and also activate your DNA. So as a birthday bonus for Gemini. I will give you the Soulmate Reiki workshop online on video attunement, right? And then we can integrate level one because you get the activation and we can integrate level one and Soulmate Reiki activation into your magic healing package. So if you're wanting to do level one and magic healing package, I'll put the link up now. If you are prepared to um, pay up front, you get the Soulmate Reiki absolutely free and you need to put your name down here on this link or look in the description box below or it's on my website but I want you to book into the calendar so I know who's up for this and this is only available until the full moon in the month of May okay so happy birthday let's get into your reading thank you so much for joining me we have Archangel Michael here for a quick message for Gemini it's been very cold here. I'm in Sydney, Australia, and the temperatures have plummeted. We haven't had winter. We didn't get it last year. Everybody just ignored the fact that we were swimming every day through May, June, July, and August, September. Like, no one really talked about it. You know, like, I'm not a weather person. I don't go, oh, the weather. People talk about the weather. But I remember always going, it's sunny again. Oh, my gosh. I haven't even seen my Ugg boots. Have you seen your Ugg boots lately? So Ugg boots are big fluffy boots we put our feet in when it's cold but they didn't even come out of the cupboard and they're already out and it's May this year so the weather's changing right the frequency's changing Lucifer's got his telescope out the largest telescope in the world called Lucifer at the Vatican and he's actually projecting things into the sky he's got sounds and trumpets trying to emulate what he thinks the rapture would be like he's trying to be God and a lot of people will be fooled into it will think he's God and will worship him as the Antichrist when he comes down and inhabits you know his body because he will be able to form, perform miracles, people will believe he's God. It's going to be unbelievable. If you've seen, there's a movie called The Dictator. Is it The Dictator? And it shows this. And remember, Gemini, a lot of our movies that have been on the screen are more truthful than your media. This is a message from the angels. Archangel Michael in particular wants you to understand that the media is an MK Ultra program. Delivering at a frequency and programming you. So the media is fake. All news is fake. It's all owned by the bloodlines, the Illuminati. It's all a construct with the banks under the reserve banks. So the Jesuits actually originate this through the Vatican. It's the Jesuits. So please, I'm trying to just wake you up. Because if you're not awake now, you're not safe. Right, because CERN opened. If you don't know what CERN is, you need to know what CERN is. You need to know what Agenda 21 is, the depopulation agenda. You need to know what an RFID chip is and what FEMA stands for, but what it really means. So the reason I'm saying this is because the wildlife all around the world is letting us know something's not right. 
So there are truth channels on YouTube. I've given you two. I don't just share my opinion. I've done research for 18 months and I've watched every single video on these channels if I refer them to you, not just one or two. So the one was about the Illuminati in the pop industry. If you're not understanding, that's where Lucifer comes in, his demons, and they get worshipped, but it looks like something else. So we've been deceived. Because you know how Beyonce has Sasha Fierce come into her body and then the whole audience waving their arms in the air and worshipping? That's worship when you put your arms in the air to God and pray and sing to God. It's worship, but Lucifer was the angel of worship in heaven. So he has got you all worshipping him, but you don't even know it. So that was really important for those of you who were working in publishing, advertising, um, marketing, um, design work, you know, for packaging and things like that. Like when you wake up, you realise that that was all just done to distract you. And um, it can be quite humbling your children are watched over by angels. So your children going through these changes as well in frequency need to be protected and looked after. Dear guardian angels of my children. So we all have guardian angels, as you know, from the affirmations you heard before this. So I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know in the comments if you like it. And I can put them on as a separate recording. Dear guardian angels of my children, born and unborn, thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know that the best way to be a good parent and a role model for my own and other people's children. So I know that a lot of relationships are splitting up, coming together, you know, families coming together, children. So bringing in Archangel Michael and um, remember the universal law of free will. They can't intervene without your permission. No one can. And unless you're Lucifer and the dark side, silence is consent. Even more reason to ask. If you're feeling low vibration, worry, doubt or fear comes in, you feel tension in your body, in your gut, you can speak out loud. You say, Archangel Michael, come to me now. Cut all cords of fear. Well, you do not have permission to be here. Only the highest vibration of light to be around me. And you say that three times. And then they don't have permission, no dark energies, because they're out and about. And there's millions and millions of them at the moment, more than ever, because God's pouring his spirit out on the world. Miracles are happening, healing, miracles. Get activated as soon as possible so you, you can actually experience this at the highest level, because we need you awake and alive <laughs> to the world and what's going on. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. That's me. I give my life for you. Yes, I've come down here to wake you up, to warn you. This has been my whole life. So, been leading up to this and yours too, to awaken others because you're the ones who are going to get the message out there. That's why they're talking about the media and publishing because that's who you are. You're the communicators of the Zodiac. So I'm talking to you like this, you know. So I hope something clicks in you because... It's just maybe you understand how to market and how to advertise. It's just you're not giving your life for the people. See, as a twin flame, Blu-ray twin flame, I have a love for souls. It's like I have a really passionate love for human souls like God does. So I've come down here to help wake you up and save you and bring you to heaven sounds ridiculous but you're needed to do that too and it only sounds ridiculous when you don't know where you are when you're not awake so if you're thinking oh i don't want to talk about the devil i didn't even believe in the devil two and a half years ago I used to say to my brother don't talk about the devil and say i rebuke the devil in jesus name and i say oh don't even talk about the devil why are these people talking about the devil all the time i don't even believe in the devil go away go away he goes but jesus is coming back it's like oh please to kill me now you know like that's how i used to think and it's like, wow, that's the matrix. You think it's ridiculous. So the more you get out of the matrix, the more you realise that it's simple, that I am a, my creator. It has actually solved this problem and given me a way out. So we're going to have a look at the Universal Love Card, seeing love for Gemini. I also have a book that I'm going to recommend 
for you. Any Anything that Pia Melody has written. Pia Melody is a great author of Facing Codependence. Because you guys are going to be therapists, going to be counsellors, going to help the majority of people through this if you help yourself first. And this is the best person I've known that helped me through it. This book is about facing love addiction. And I know it came up in one of your readings. So it's giving yourself the power to change the way you love. Right, so that can happen through enmeshment with parents, love addiction. It's not sex addiction, it's different. So having a look at anything by Pia Melody and just know that, you know, her words soothe your soul. And oh, some words from our father. Now that's food for your soul when you read his, so it's worship, prayer and reading his word, especially if you've been baptized by the Holy Spirit recently. The Lord will not let your foot slip, Gemini. He who watches over you does not sleep. Psalm 1213. Psalms 119 to 114. The Lord is my refuge, my hiding place, and my shield. He wants you to know that. That if you're worried about stuff, just know that he's here. But you have to call him in. Remember the universal or free will. So if you can't do that, think about Archangel Michael. See, asking you to really relax, retreat, let go, get into nature. I'm serious. It's so urgent. I used to think people were like, oh, yeah, whatever. But what I know now and what's happening with the frequency and it's getting intense, the EMP towers, right, it's just out of our range of hearing. They're amping up. You know, have you noticed chemtrails in the air? They help amp it up. And also, um, which is the frequency, I saw this morning a big drone. It's like, do not buy those for your children, please. They're demonic. Drones are demonic. Right, soon they're going to have demons in them. Artificial intelligence. Remember Sophia? Remember <laughs> Sophia? Uh. See, that stuff freaks me out. But what I can handle, I think is funny, is the Mandela effect. I know it's real, but it's not the truth, but it's funny. But drones say, like, get away from me, Lucifer. Let me go and relax. See, I went to the garden to relax and there was this drone above my head. I was like, what is that, God? What is that? I mean, what is that? That's desensitizing us to, you know, they'll be able to find you if you've got the RFID chip. Even the thermals, they'll be able to f track you down because maybe... You don't want to get away. Just saying they can find everyone through infrared through the drones. So that's why they're making it up now because they're preparing you for what's to come. The angel on this card is asking that you slow down. Take a break. You are working and trying too hard. If something feels constantly out of reach... Or well, you are faced with obstacles. It does not necessarily mean that you are doing something wrong. Some things take time. Sometimes things take time. Clear your mind of the thoughts that you have cast a cloud over you. Forget about things for a while and just relax. Let the sun shine down upon you. All will work out well when the timing is right. We almost feel like we need another one, don't we, Gemini? Let's have one more and we'll do a snapshot. Blessings. That's beautiful. So if you retreat, it's like when you go too fast, you miss God's blessings for you as well. You know, once there was $50 on the ground and I missed it. And I was the person that needed $50. This guy came down and swooped down and picked it up in front of me. Well, I nearly chased him thinking, that's mine. I was like, find us keepers. I missed it because I was too worried in my head that I wasn't present. So I didn't see the $50 in front of my foot. <gasps> Shock. It was shock. <laughs> I could nearly cried because I needed it so badly. I had no work at the time. This is years and years ago. And it was just like that was too much for, for Bella to bear. So blessings are in front of you. Retreat. Do my Reiki Level 1 Magic Healing Package. Get Soulmate Reiki for free. Free bonus for your birthday. Change your life. Change your frequency. You get out of where you are. It releases dis-ease in the body. Dis-ease. Replaced with ease. Get it? So, of course, your health will improve. Those niggling things you worry about. Your recent act of kindness has not gone unnoticed. The universe thanks you for the kindness you showed another recently and bestows eternal love and blessings upon you. 
You are dearly loved by her and by the divine will of the one whose light fills both heaven and earth. Gently close your eyes as you receive this great blessing. Feel yourself being showered in heavenly light. Know that the entire universe resides in your heart, for you are part of life's endless blessing. Every act of kindness helps the world to glow a little brighter. Every act of kindness is a blessing, not only unto others, but also unto oneself, for ultimately we are all one spirit. Very, very nice message. So it's really important. I mean, that is the most important thing to do right now. It's a big priority for all of us to really connect to nature, to listen to Earth's heartbeat, to talk to your creator and connect them both in your heart. That's the secret. But they can't get through the mind. Right, the mind separates the third eye and the crown chakra. So if you're doing also, they're showing me that Bikram's yoga when it heats up. That's when it's like there's little discs are put in by demons who came out of CERN into your spine. Right, So people think that they're doing yoga and getting healthy, but actually disconnecting from Gaia and from source, you won't be able to get connected because it's your antenna is your spine so please just stay out of Bikram yoga for one minute or get your Reiki mastership so that they cannot enter and you know and you learn how to clear your energy because silence is consent that's why there's been a big push for that yoga I know it sounds like I'm crazy but it's demonic activity anywhere that Satan can bring you down he's a, like a lion prowling I don't know why I'm coming across so strong on that for Gemini. You must need it. Okay, let's have a look what's coming up for you in love and attention. Okay. You almost want to reshuffle there, but look, you're going to be looking good. Good fortune underneath. This is what you really want. Hats, shoes and bag to match. Also, um, you know, you've got the, a lucky spin Right, so don't say things like, oh, I never win anything, I might as well not go into it. Oh, I never, like watch what you're actually saying. Instead of going, well, it's my turn to win because I'm, I'm, I'm ready to win this as you actually buy a ticket. This is supersonic luck. They're showing me the Jupiter spin here. Luck and good fortune might be an idea or timing. See, Gemini, your timing's out. Yep, yeah, here again, enjoying the outcome. So it doesn't seem like it right now. When I look at these cards, these ones are different, right? So you yeah, must enjoy the journey a little bit more. So if you're not enjoying each day, right, your heart's breaking a little bit every day and it gets heavy and it starts holding resentment. So we're looking at clearing that. And you have done very well because, it, you know, it's been stagnant times where things aren't moving that fast. It feels like Groundhog Day, same old, same old. And everybody seems to be having the same old conversations. Do you know what I mean? It's just ugh. And that makes you agitated even more. Because, you know, you like things to be busy, then you can relax. You're like me in that you like that contrast. You like to have a busy day and do exercise is really important for you so you will sleep. Because this is not being able to sleep, tossing and turning at night. And here is about nervous about the change. You can feel it coming. You can feel the earth changes. There's nothing wrong with your memory, the Mandela effect. But you're feeling other people's energy. Some people are just not on your wavelength anymore. You know how they used to be, you know, you think and have fun and then it's like they're just not there. So it's a change over time of quiet time. It won't last forever, but it's definitely needed, especially as love's coming in. See the flutterbys? The flutterbys. Because it's your yearning desire to be madly in love. And this is about a test of courage coming up. So I'm just going to ask what that's about in the near future. Oh, we did that one. The tower. Yeah, it's a restructuring of your false beliefs. So false beliefs about love. I have a video on that if you're interested in clearing it. But we'll do it in your soulmate Reiki when you book your level one and magic healing package. 
This is your false beliefs around love. It's been hard because there's some of them that you've been brought up with or that are part of a religious belief or a community belief or a family belief. And that's been tough, you know, because it's like, no, just because I've changed my beliefs, I'm, I'm going to get isolated from the family. It's like, yeah, maybe. It's like this is what, that's why it's a test of courage. Can you do it? So you're looking back going, wow, I didn't feel that strong about that before. I don't even want to feel that strong about this, but I just cannot go under my false beliefs anymore. So it's creating new beliefs really within you. So it's, it's tough. It's a tough time because it feels agitating, feels frustrating. Nothing's going my way. Nothing's happening exactly as I want it. People are agitating me, saying the wrong thing. You know, it's like, oh, that angst energy. Like you do have to exercise just to get rid of the kinetic energy, even if it's outside for a walk. So then all these challenges and problems, they just disappear on the walk because, look, they're not chasing you. They're not coming into your back. They're not in your heart. No one's got a hold of them. So you can just pull them out, toss them away. No one can think in your mind. You're the only one. No one can think in there except for you. So time to take inventory of what is running this program. What software do you have in your brain? What is the program? Because you're going to get frustrated if you're having a program, right, an art program, say like Adobe, and yet you're trying to do videos or whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's like, how come it's not doing that? It's like, get the right program in here. That's why I'm doing the affirmations for you. And also here is around love, eight reasons why I'm a good catch. Because you want to have that vibration with somebody else who feels like you're hot and they like you, they're really into you. And you want to agree with that. So you want to have, you know, ways that you can actually, I know it sounds weird, but not, it's like self-promotion, but in a healthy way, not in a narcissistic way. But because you've been under narcissistic abuse, we do anything not to go into I'm hot or I'm this because the narcissist is all over that. It makes you feel less than anyway. But this is about building yourself up, you know, getting a little bit more self-esteem, asking other people, what do you see in me as my skills and talents? Or why do you like me as a friend? Or, And hearing it from other people as well. But these affirmations I've done will really help. Also, this is showing me to remarket yourself. If this is like, remember I talked about the advertising and the marketing? It's like, how do you talk about yourself? Do you put yourself down all the time to people? And it's like, oh, I'm just so dumb. I don't know what to do. Or... Oh, I'm just in this marriage for the kids, you know, because like was the most worst excuse ever. I'm staying in this marriage for my children. So no, that's not the reason. The reason is that it is a payoff for you. So if you've come out of a marriage, come recently out of a long-term committed relationship, this is about you redefining who you are. And knowing that you're a child of God and he's given you wonderful gifts that maybe you don't even know exist. And because these false beliefs and all this family or people around you has collapsed and even this job you're doing, you know, maybe you want more. Um, it's, it's just this desire to be full on, have full self-expression, be able to speak and to create and to play, right? But over here... If you're in business needing to do redo your marketing material, how you present yourself, how you're promoted, right? Or doing, you know, a new CV, putting it out there. It's redoing your marketing stuff, your CV, or the way you think about yourself, right? So putting down four skills, four talents that you love doing. So four things that you really love doing, four things that you're really good at. And then giving it to the angels saying, thank you for the wonderful job or wonderful enterprise that comes my way that utilizes these top four things that I love doing and these four things that I'm really good at. Because my desire, right, is to be madly in love and enjoying the outcome. Where is that other one I had for you? Right, was the Nine of Cups. It's very, very nice. So this is enjoying the outcome for Gemini. It's a financial outcome that brings you pleasure and a little bit of grace, right? A little bit of like respite, wonderful time. 
So whether you're with your partner or not, you're redesigning who you are for yourself and so are your beliefs. So even if you were in a long-term relationship and you've split up, this is perfect. This is what it looks like. If you're still together or if you're with somebody new, it's not going to go forward that fast yet because you're still not who you're going to be. You're in the middle of your transformation, your metamorphosis, Gemini. Be kind to yourself. Watch your thoughts and get activated to my Reiki Level 1 with your Magic Healing Package to get your soulmate Reiki free for your birthday. And I'll be back around the full moon. I love you. Comment below if this resonates with you at all. And um, here come your positive affirmations. Again, I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. So let's just know some things for ourselves right now. That you are a wonderful creative child of God and very loved. You have a guardian angel with you and you're not alone. Everybody is assigned a guardian from birth. Know that you are part of the creator I need to connect to prime creator, to God, your father in heaven. To open our mind to receive, we need to affirm often, God prospers me now. All that is mine by divine right comes to me under grace in perfect ways. And I am receiving now. I'm receiving all that I need. I'm receiving all that is mine by divine right. Avalanches of abundance descend upon me now. I open to receive easily and effortlessly. I now live and work in the ideal environment, great location, earning good money, with people that I love and that love me in an atmosphere of harmony and ease. It's light, bright and airy and has peace and serenity and nature where all feel welcome and supported. I work on meaningful, wonderful projects that use all my skills and abilities. They are successful and I complete them with ease and grace. I have wonderful like-minded supportive friendships and I am in love with my beloved. I live in an atmosphere of harmony and ease and all that I need flows to me effortlessly. I just have to open to receiving. I now receive all the money that I need under grace in perfect ways. I ask Father God to help me open to receive his abundance. And I give thanks and gratitude for all that I have received to date. Dear Father God, help me open to your love, to your health, your abundance. Help me raise my vibration so that I may live in another timeline that has freedom, bliss, joy, happiness and unconditional love. I ask for your support, your guidance. Please fortify me, strengthen me, and open me to the abundance by clearing all my past timelines of grief and betrayal and turning that into endurance and perseverance for joy to be for all. I experience joy and bliss now, knowing that I have cleared the path that I am the change I seek and all glory be to God.
my Father, my eternal Father in heaven. Feel open to receiving his blessings and gifts of joy and abundance, knowing I am safe and comfortable with this. I now open my heart to love on a level I have never experienced before, knowing I am safe and comfortable with this. Nothing's too good to be true. Nothing's too wonderful to happen. And nothing is too amazing to last. Thank you, Father God, for strengthening me, fortifying me, and for activating my light body so that I may ascend to the kingdom and bring light and unconditional love to help this process. Activate it within me now. Divine love is doing its perfect work in me and through me now. And God, it prospers me now. I love you, God. Help me open to receiving more of your love. Hi, I'm Bella. I'm actually inviting you to become Reiki One Attuned. A Reiki attunement is opening your energetic field and chakras or your energy centers up to receive universal life force 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the rest of your life. I do four hour workshops for busy people. Becoming attuned at a Reiki one level is for self and for self healing. To feel more present if you suffer with anxiety or insomnia, it may help because we clear the energy field, we take a lot of the worry out that's from others and it also allows you to follow your intuition a little bit better. So yeah, you feel grounded, much more present and able to hear, listen and feel your intuition or your intuitive bodies talking to you. So I look forward to your attunement and becoming attuned with me and we'll do that on the new moon. So I'll see you there, bellacatrina.com or join the conversation on Facebook forward slash Bella Katrina. I'll talk to you then. Bye.